make water light up, turn an egg into a bouncy ball, or blow cool bubbles from a CD. Today we give you seven incredible experiments to do yourself. First up, number seven. First we'll show you how to make glowing liquid. You'll need a bottle of tonic water and a black light lamp. You'll find a link to that in the video description. Well, that's all really. You won't need anything else. As tonic water contains quinine, the liquid will start glowing on the black light. Now you can pour the liquid in some ice cube forms, for example, and let them freeze normally. In the end, you'll have glowing ice cubes that aren't poisonous. Pretty cool. And number six. For this experiment, you'll need a plastic bottle, some bandage, a cutter knife, a big bowl, water, washing up liquid and a rubber band. First, cut the bottleneck off with a cutter knife. Then, take the bandage, seal the opening of the bottle and fasten it all with rubber band. Now, fill the bowl with water and mix it all with washing up liquid. Then, dunk the bottle with the bandage in the water and blow through the opening of the bottle. And that's how you get loads of little bubbles. Let's continue with number five. Now, take a lime and cut some small slits into it with a knife. Then, stick some dirty copper coins in the slits. After only 15 minutes, you'll see how clean the coins are. Astounding, right? Let's continue with number four. Now, we'll turn a raw egg into a bouncy ball. You'll need an egg, who would have thought, and a glass full of vinegar. Carefully place the egg into the glass and make sure that the egg is completely covered. Once you've done that, it's time to wait. Around about two to five days. If you start noticing changes, carefully take out the egg with a spoon and rub off the rest of the shell slowly. Now place the egg back into the vinegar. Five days have gone by, now you'll see how the egg has grown and bounces around like a bouncy ball. But be careful, it's not actually a real bouncy ball. So if the egg bursts, well, there'll be some cleaning up to do. And number three. For this easy experiment, you'll need a pack of aqua gel beads, a bowl and two liters of water. First, place the aqua gel beads in the bowl and then pour the water over the beads. Now you'll have to wait a couple of hours. After some time, you'll see how the water is replaced by the aqua gel beads and how the beads get bigger. Pour some water in a different bowl now and if you place some beads inside, they'll seemingly disappear. It'll look magical to your friends and family when you put your hand under water and suddenly fish out some beads. And number two. For this amazing experiment, you'll need 0.125 cups of water, a pot, a spoon, six ounces of sodium acetate, and a glass. Heat the sodium acetate with water in a pot. The sodium acetate has to dissolve completely, but shouldn't boil. To avoid this, you'll have to stir regularly. Once all of it is dissolved, fill it in a glass. Now the liquid has to cool down completely. Once the liquid is cooled, put some of the sodium acetate that didn't dissolve on a staff. Dip it in the liquid and you'll see how a crystal will form around straight away. You can also place it on a little plate and then pour the liquid over it, so you'll get a pretty iceberg. Finally, you could also put some sodium acetate on your fingertip and then place your hand in a big container full of the liquid. And last but not least, number one. Now we'll show you how to do this cool experiment with CDs yourself. First, place a CD with the surface up on a table. Then carefully scratch off the cover at a certain place, so that you can look through the CD. When you're done with that, take a lighter and carefully hold it under the open space of the CD. Once the surface of the CD starts to melt, turn off the lighter and blow on that spot. Thanks to the melted plastic of the CD, you'll be able to blow it up like a balloon. Now you can watch more cool experiments, just click on one of the videos. Once again, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye!